Welcome, brothers and sisters. Thank you for enjoy for coming to, to visit us here at the Our Lady of Fatima Parish. Today is Mother's Day, and it's also a wonderful reading from the Gospel. And I think that there is a correlation between the two. The Gospel reading today was from the book of John, and, and Jesus told the apostles, I am the way and the truth and the life. I wonder if they were so, somewhat puzzled when Jesus told them, them and whether they truly understand what he was saying. I think that from us in this day and age, we are looking for the way. We are looking to find our way. And sometimes it's very troubling, especially with all the things that are going on in the world and especially within this country, all of the bickering and the fighting and, and uh, within the, the, uh, the government, uh, and uh, we're, we're facing unemployment, we're, we're having shortages within our food, and we wonder, where is the Lord? Where is God? He's here. Trust me, He is here. But the thing is that if Jesus said, I am the way. He is the way, the way. Because when we listen to the words of Holy Scripture, especially to that of St. Paul in his letter to the Colossians, it said, that everything was created for him and within him. He is the head of the body, the church. Brothers and sisters, that means that we are brothers and sisters in Christ. We are all related to one another. And so what we do to one person affects everyone. And so we need to be aware of what is going on around us and we need to seek the truth. The thing is that the truth is not somebody, the truth is someone. That truth is the truth of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ never changes. God never changes. You've probably heard people been talking about when we're talking about the news or something, one person will say, well, this is what I believe. This is the truth I believe. And someone else will say, well, that's not what I believe. That's not my truth. There is no your truth my truth, there is only the truth, and that truth is Jesus Christ. The more knowledge that we have of Him, the more that we study Holy Scripture, the more we will recognize Jesus in the, on the things that happen to us on a day-to-day -day basis. And so as we follow Him, as we follow the fact that He is the way, and we recognize Him because of the truth and what's going on around us, that we know then that by following Him, he will lead us to eternal life. And that's exactly what Jesus was talking to, uh, to us when he was speaking in the Gospel of John, uh, the prayer that he said to his Father in heaven prior to having begun the, the Passion that, that Thursday night. He said, Father, I am one. You and I are one. And thank you for all of the people that you have given me. And you have given me the authority to provide them with, a, with eternal life. We are promised that life if we partake of the things that Jesus wants us to do. Primarily, love God, and secondarily, love each other. If we follow those two commandments, we're in very, very good company. And as we're talking about loving one another, who better can we love and show our appreciation to than our mothers? our mothers who bore us, who put up with us for nine months uh, and then changed our dirty diapers after that. Uh, they owe, uh, we owe them a special, special um, amount of gratitude and appreciation for all that they have done. If you haven't had the chance to, to talk to them uh, today, do so, call them, let them know. Better yet, if you have the opportunity and have the ability to, to travel, Go see your mother, talk to her again, tell her how much you love her, how much you appreciate everything that she's done for you. But in one small thing, let us not forget that we, besides having a physical mother here on earth, we have a spiritual mother who was given to us by a Lord from the cross. His mother, Mary, is also our mother. We owe her a debt of gratitude. She has been watching over us. She has been protecting us. She intercedes for us in times of trouble and in times of need. Let us not forget her. She does not forget us. 
She is there always. And especially if you recall from the prayer of, uh, to our mother. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Brothers and sisters, today is a wonderful day. Let us give thanks to God for the beauty of this day and for the mothers that he's given us to share life with us, to bring us life from our, our, our almighty Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And may almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.